So why would you want to go and do a thing like choosing Welsh lamb? Well, the first thing, of course, would be that it helps keep your food miles down. Welsh lamb helps maintain the environment in Wales. The landscape that you see whenever you're on holiday or whenever you go out of your house, if you have happened to live in Wales is kept as it is and has been kept like it is since Roman times by keeping sheep on the marginal land that can't do anything else on these hills. And then these Welsh sheep behind me eat mainly Welsh grass which keeps methane emissions down in food production. Also eating grass produced meat gives you a healthy dose of not just iron that your body can easily access, but also high levels of omega-3. That's got to be good for you. Now the Welsh weather gives us plenty of, gra plenty of rain to be getting on with and that gives us plenty of grass. And today you can see I'm out here in the uh, thoroughly moist atmosphere uh, with these sheep. Did you know that the Welsh rain gives us, yeah, Welsh grass and uh, that sheep are the second most effective converters of Welsh grass into protein of all the animals available. The, the highest scoring is, is venison, uh, but for most of us that's probably out of the question. Sheep are the second most effective converter of grass into protein, and we've got plenty of grass in Wales because of our outstanding weather. On a slightly more serious point, Eating Welsh lamb, choosing Welsh lamb will help protect your food security. This is declining in the UK and official figures show we'll be producing only about half the food we need to our rigorous welfare and safety standards set by British law. We'll be producing only half of what we need by 2040 and the rest is going to be coming from somewhere else. In fact, at the moment, British supplied food would run out on any given year by the middle of August. It's important that we keep our own home produced food available to us in a changing world. Currently, it appears that a very few people determine the sort of price that will be had for your lamb and it, it's the situation at the moment that that price is being set at too low a level for your food to continue to be produced in the way that it is. Farmers are currently receiving on average 25 to 35 pounds less per lamb produced than last year. It's a complex issue but there are simple ways to address it for example by choosing Welsh lamb when you make your choice at the supermarket. So why is a rural chaplaincy here making this point. Firstly, because actually it's an ethical issue. If we saw injustice in a food market on the far side of the world, you would expect the church to speak up, wouldn't you? We'd all want that to happen. And the Bible's big on not exploiting people in trade wherever they live by whatever means. Secondly, we are here as a rural chaplaincy to support rural people. Grace Rural Wales Partnership, the group, exists to support rural people practically as well as spiritually and reach out to them with the love of God. And the pressure on beef and lamb and cereal, all sorts of agricultural commodity prices, is causing real pain in the countryside. We're here to help in whatever way we can to sustain our farmers, our local industry. The third reason this chaplaincy is making this point about eating Welsh lamb is that lamb seems to have been quite close to Jesus' own heart. He chose lamb as the meal of choice for his last meal here on earth and he used that as an illustration of what he was about to go and do on the cross. When John the Baptist saw Jesus coming to his baptism, he declared Jesus was the promised Lamb of God, the reality pointed to by the sacrifices that went on up at the Jerusalem temple all the time. Jesus, he was saying, was the one who really takes away the sin of the world. He is the Lamb of God. And Lamb, of course, is still popular at Easter. Here's why. It was at Easter that Jesus Christ laid down his life as the one paying the price in court in my place so that I, though actually guilty, could go free. It was a piece of symbolism all tied up with the Passover and the Exodus from Egypt and the lamb they ate then. <laughs> we 
you'd love to explain more when you've got some time grab a chat with us through the website or welsh rev on twitter or perhaps using our facebook page grace rural wales partnership you'll find it in there So charging round in the straw behind me at the moment here in the shed is Albert. Albert is getting ready to go out amongst the ladies and uh, give us the next crop of Welsh lamb in the coming year. We believe the choice of Welsh lamb is an ethical issue. We believe the choice of Jesus as the Lamb of God is equally an ethical issue. And we just ask you to choose carefully. If we can clarify anything for you, please get in touch with us through the website. Thanks for your time.